Hello friends, welcome to the lecture on hydraulics of wells under steady flow condition in confined aquifers. In last lecture, we have seen the same topic with unconfined aquifers and we have seen how to derive the values of K that is coefficient of permeability and discharge Q for aquifers which, which were in the unconfined state. So today we will discuss the same thing, same parameters estimation with a confined aquifer case. So let us start. Already we have seen the hydraulics of wells. We have seen what is meant by drawdown, what is meant by the drawdown curve, what is meant by the radius of influence in the last lecture. So we will directly move on to the equation and the derivation part. This is the schematic diagram for themes formula for, for confined aquifer case. Theme derived the formula in continuation with the Dupitz equation. So this particular figure can be used for derivation of Dupitz equation as well. So here as you can see in the figure you can see there is a main well from which the pumping is to be done. The well is dug up to the full depth of the aquifer and this is the portion of the confined aquifer. As you can see, the portion of the well is embedded or contained in two impervious layers and this is what the confined aquifer having a depth equal to capital H. This is a pervious strata. Then as earlier, there are two observation wells located, situated apart from the main well at a distance of R1 and R2. Here, instead of drawdown, you can see this is this is the drawdown uh, itself and uh, this is the piezometric surface as you can see over here. So instead of water table, they, they are calling it as a piezometric surface and instead of drawdown you will you will observe the fall in the piezometric surface or the piezometric levels in case of the observation wells and this is the ground level so near about all the parameters are same instead of small d here from the piezometric surface the depth of uh, what you can say well is uh, denoted by letter capital d over here So the formula used for the case of unconfined aquifer has to be slightly modified in the case of an artesian aquifer. The flow is actually radial and horizontal. Rest of the assumptions remain the same and hold good in this case also. So here as you can see the piezometric surface falls down and there is velocity distribution horizontal and hence uh, it is assumed that velocity distribution is horizontal. The well is confined between two layers that, that's why it is a confined aquifer and here you can find out the discharge Q is equal to 2 pi kh into bracket h2 minus h1 upon 2.3 log to the base 10 r2 upon r1. But here as stated earlier in previous equation derivation h2 minus h1 is equal to s2 minus s1. So to remember in a quick overview see here h2 minus h1 h2 minus h1 will be equal to s1 minus s2 that already we have seen. So therefore q is equal to 2 pi kh s1 minus s2 upon 2.3 log to the base 10 r2 upon r1 also q is equal to 2 pi into t s1 minus s2 upon 2.3 log to the base 10 r2 upon r1 where t is transmissibility and which is equal to k into h where h is the depth of this confined aquifer so here you can see this term it is replaced by H. Then 
Dupit's original equilibrium formulas. We will once again see. See what is the main difference between the Dupit's formula and Thiem's equation that is to be understood. Dupit's in Dupit's formula, you will find out that the integration is taken between the limits R W to R, where R W is the radius of the well, main pumping well, and R is the radius of influence. This total uh, limits are taken, and uh, for integration of H into D H, uh, they have considered the limits between H W. This H W, the height of water inside the well, and small d. So this small d is the depth or depth of uh, what you, what you can say water table and the radius of influence, total depth of water. So in in case of uh, what you can say themes, these limits were different. So for a quick re review, we will just see what were the limits over here. So here the limits are R1 and R2 and H1 and H2, where R1 and R2 are the distances of wells from the main well and H1 and H2 are the respective water level heights or the uh, what you can say uh, height of the well at the drawdown, isn't it? So in case of uh, Dupit, these limits are changed. That's all. So here, if you see the Dupit's formula for gravity well or unconfined aquifer case, so Q is equal to KIA, Q is equal to K into DH upon DR into 2 pi RH. Already this part we have discussed where K is the coefficient of permeability. So DR upon R is equal to 2 pi K upon Q H into DH. Integrating between the limits for Dupit, you will consider the limits R1, sorry RW and R where Rw is the radius of the main well and R is the capital R is the radius of influence. So here integration of dr upon R, Rw to R will be equal to 2 pi k upon q as k is taken as constant. Integration of this h into dh limits are from hw, this hw to d. So this will yield the result as 2.3 log to the base 10 r upon rw which is further equal to pi into k into d square minus hw square. After simplifying this you will get the discharge as q is equal to pi into k into bracket d square minus hw square upon 2.3 log to the base 10 capital R upon rw. So in this case if you want to find out the discharge q you should know all other parameters like the value of k, the value of d, value of hw that, that can be determined. But determination of value of r, it is quite difficult. r is what? r is the radius of influence and physically it is not measurable. So many scientists have given different values of this r which is which are given in the literatures. Then Dupit's formula for the unconfined, sorry, confined aquifer case. So here also uh, it, it, it has started with the Darcy's law Q is equal to KIA. Q is equal to K into DH upon DR 2 pi R into capital H over here. H is the thickness of the bed as, as you can see thickness of the aquifer. So here capital H is taken. So here DR upon R is equal to 2 pi KH upon Q into DH. So integrations will have the same limits RW and R and HW and here instead of small d it will be capital D. So here after integration and simplification you will get the value of K is equal to 2.3 Q log to the best 10 R upon small RW or rearranging the terms you will get the value of discharge Q as Q is equal to 2 pi KH capital D minus HW upon 2.3 log to the base 10 R upon RW. So here also if you know all other terms you can find out the discharge or else you can find out the coefficient of permeability K. So we will solve a numerical as and when we will meet on the Google Meet. Till then you thoroughly go through 
all these derivations once again try to understand if you are having any doubt any problem any query you are free to ask me on my email address dnpatankarce at sanjeevani.org.in till then thank you happy learning have a nice day